Chef Jill Davey, Champagne is the wine of celebration. It's launched thousands of ships, attended millions of weddings. No other drink is so associated with a special occasion. Without a little bit of education, I think shopping for champagne can be a little daunting, don't you? Yeah, you know, you're right, Jill. There's a lot of different things that you need to look for when you're gonna buy a champagne. First off, champagne can only come from champagne in France. Everything else is just sparkling wine. First thing I usually look for is figure out what style of champagne you'd like to have. And they sort of range in levels of sweetness. Um, the most popular one in this country is called Brut. And that's a very dry champagne. But that's when it starts to get confusing because there's extra Brut, which is a little bit drier than Brut. Then going from drier to sweeter, we go to extra dry, which you'd think would be drier than dry, but it's actually sweeter than brute. <laughs> then we've got dry, then we go to sec, which is French for dry. Then we go to demi-sec, which means half dry. And then we have dew, which is sweet. So most importantly, when shopping for a bottle of champagne, I think we should consider the dryness. Mm -hmm. And we should consider um, what we're serving it with. Exactly. Right? And cost is always an cost issue. Cost is always an issue. <laughs> and most important for when I throw a party is how much you're going to need. Right. Well, um, if it were a party for me, then you might look into uh, the monster bottle. <laughs> I think we should just back the champagne truck up for that. <laughs> When shopping for champagne, remember to buy champagne that has been stored properly, preferably on its side in a cool, dark place. Severe fluctuations in temperature can ruin the taste. Older champagne isn't necessarily better. Unlike many wines, champagne does not require further aging and is ready to drink when it is released by the manufacturer. And champagne comes in various bottle sizes. Buy an unfamiliar label by the half bottle. This is a good way to sample a new champagne to see if you like it before making a big investment. Now that you have your champagne, here are some great accessories for opening, storing, and taking your champagne with you. If you're someone that's easily intimidated by the cork on a bottle of sparkling wine, well then this is the gadget for you. It's called a cork catcher. The way it works is that you actually put it over the cork, twist the bottle, and the cork comes flying out safely, securely. It'll run you around $20. If you're ever in the situation where you have a little bit of champagne left in the bottle, well, you're gonna need a champagne stopper. This champagne stopper is pretty cool. It's made out of plastic. And the way it works is that it fits snugly over the bottle. Press it down, just like so. It keeps all the bubbles inside and keeps the wine from oxidizing. It'll run you around $15. Just press the legs together here and it pops right off. Now here's another kind of stopper. It's really easy to use. It has a screw down top and it has a plastic seal here. So you simply put it on the top of the bottle, screw it down and it keeps all those tiny bubbles fresh. It'll run you around $10. Maybe a romantic picnic in a park? Or champagne on the go? Well, check this out. This is a champagne carry cooler. Opens up. Now, the way it keeps your champagne cold is by this. What you do is you fill it with water, put it in the freezer, and pop it right back in. It'll keep two bottles of champagne cold for hours. This will run you around $50. With all these champagne accessories, there's always time to celebrate. <laughs>